What is up, everybody? Welcome to Series E. This is week two of Pringles Week, and it's already being explosive. And so I'm super excited to see. Maybe all I see is a Gibby in the bubble, hundreds to fellows versus maybe a lone Gibby. Trying to get the thrust off on the Watson, not really important. Maybe an armor swap for a possible crack that the Gibby gives on the armor. They're taking it slow. You don't want to rush into these fights right here. Big 77 pump on the Gibby, 33 cracking, and the knock. We might see a Wraith hiding behind a knockdown per you. One, Team Pringles is the champion. What a way to start it for Team Pringles. They were highlighting coming in. It is Pringles week, and they come through and win this one. So fantastic job by them. But that was a spicy fight over towards the end. It makes me wonder if, well, is there any spicy Pringles flavors, Touche? I would say, I would say that Pringles has a vast variety of flavors. Yeah, I've seen dill flavor. pickles. I've seen, I've seen buffalo. I've seen Ooh, buffalo. buffalo ranch. What's up? My name's Stink. I play for Team Pringles, and this is the Stink Stack. I got the original, the pizza, and the cheddar and sour cream. This is the stink stack. Fox is there to follow up. Damage is going to be trade coming in from both sides, but ESF gets the fast res, and they're going to be a okay. The other two teams are fighting it out, though. It's going to be LG going up against Team Pringles, trying to ruin the script. I don't think they got those. And now, hundreds on the hunt. It's going to be a 2v1 as a pinch in from either side, and that's going to be an easy kill, hopefully. Hey, what's up? It's Caselos. I play for Team Pringles, and this is the Caselos stack. So the Caselos stack has three these three flavors: pizza, pizza, and pizza. This is the Caselos stack. Pringles finds themselves on the left-hand side of the leaderboard too, though, during Pringles week. So not too shabby for these guys and a good week overall. Yeah, so that's week two of the Series E season. We do an interview. It's been Team Pringles week, so we might as well have Team Pringles here. They had a phenomenal last couple of days, guys. Welcome, welcome. Swagged out of your craniums, I see, especially Casellos. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Put the glasses back on, man. We got to see the shades. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, upside down too. <laughs> That's awesome. So the last couple of days, guys, you been uh, playing pretty well. We'll go into what your placements were fairly shortly. But how have you guys been feeling over the last couple of weeks? Sink, we'll start with you. Uh, feeling pretty confident. We switched our comp a couple times, you know, trying to test things out uh, rotation-wise, playing edge. So I, I would say we, we're, we're developing more of a confidence as far as playing in these lobbies go. Yeah, and hundreds. So you guys have been getting some pretty solid loot going down over towards the south side of the map, and then be able to <laughs> possible third party going over towards sorting, possible third party going over towards Lava City. But I've been seeing some pretty decent rotations. How have you been feeling over the last two weeks? What kind of improvements have you guys been making? Uh, I think we've always been really good at doing the placement thing. So we've been um, trying to focus more on exactly that, like. Uh, rotational third parties are always a, a good one. We, I feel like we've been having uh, a good few weeks of just catching people at the right time. Um, but yeah, we, we've always, one of our strongest points was always getting into zone and getting into those buildings, especially with the comp that we were strongest on. So I think we're trying to branch out a little bit, try out a few different legends and see if we can maybe mix in a more aggressive comp, maybe get that chemistry going a little bit. Yeah, I forgot to mention, thanks for taking your time out from the Season 7 grind so far. I'm sure you guys all played <laughs> last night. Casales, I want to get your thoughts. Seems like you're feeling so good. You must love what's going on with Season 7 right now. I do. I really like the map, honestly. It's such a good map, and the R9's back on the floor. That's the biggest thing, to be honest. That is the biggest thing, and it seems to be shooting the same and all that stuff. Did you guys play together last night? Did you guys try to go and push a rank grind, or is that going to happen today? No, we not. Uh, we tried last night, but my game was super bugged out, and I had to repair it, and it took like an hour or so to repair. So they just both got off, and then I just played some pubs, got used to the R9 reset. again. Feels good on yeah. controller. <laughs> it does. Reset for today. Get ready yeah. for today. I personally like landing on over to Bonsai Plaza. So if you guys ever see anyone over there that's slaying out on Pathfinder, that's going to be me. That's a great spot to land. <laughs> Hundreds. For you. What, gotcha. yeah, what do you think, man? What do you think on... Uh, on Olympus, where's your spot and how much time oh, did you put man. in in Season 7 so far? We, we really haven't played much. And, um, like, 
in terms of knowing where to land, like we've just been, at least for me, I've just been trying to land in as many different locations as possible. And uh, it, it gets kind of difficult, I think, for for players who maybe are accustomed to like that close range combat running Mastiff R9 because this map kind of has a lot of open ground and maybe it doesn't favor it and and i think that's interesting of a dynamic to have a map maybe that doesn't favor that composition so you have to maybe flex a little bit and uh but so far from what it seems uh yeah it looks like the map is completely different than anything we've played before and uh it, it'll be cool there's a lot of spots to fall off on the map just warning you guys <laughs> you <laughs> I, may I, think I that you yeah. have seen some <laughs> clips already <laughs> Yeah, you may think that you're safe going up somewhere, but yeah, there's a lot of opportunities for some cool wraith portals and baits and things like that. Let's talk about your guys' team compositions and what you guys have been tweaking out. What did you guys start with? Where are you guys leaning towards right now, Casales? Uh Right now, I feel like <clears throat> we have to run a comp with Gibby. I, I feel like the meta right now, early zone, just does not work in this meta. It really doesn't with how everyone is fighting and then they're just gonna have to get a gear for you in the end. But so I think Gibby Pathfinder uh, Wraith right now is probably going to be our comp. I would say that's a good one for us right now. Yeah, interesting to see which teams are kind of ditching on Watson, etc. Because back in the day, she used to be able to put multiple alts down, she would just own so much real estate inside these buildings but things are starting to switch up and when you look at what's going on with olympus and we know that it's going to be adapted a little bit later on there's not re many buildings or spots where you're going to kind of set up camp and do things so when you have pathfinder so you can go and hit the zip lines and make fast rotations or get the high ground you can also have gibraltar to go and play edge and you can also you know full send on teams with a pretty aggressive composition right there so i like that composition i think that if you had to go and you've had to play rank that that's extremely strong too but it's a matter of is it going to be bloodhound is it going to be pathfinder and it just depends on is your pathfinder a natural pathfinder player and is your gibby a natural gibby player so uh who is actually switching on over to pathfinder now and taking over that stink is that you yeah i'm on pathfinder uh hundreds was on gibraltar and Casellos was playing wraith um I would say we've tried each of us on every role. I would think all of us are capable of doing it. Like we're all individually skilled enough on each legend. It's just more of a team synergy type of thing, playing around yeah, Gibraltar, right. etc. All right, so let's talk about these jerseys because I'm jealous that I don't have one. How comfortable mm -hmm. are they, first of all? And what's it been like competing yeah. in an actual league consistently? Very comfortable. With a partner like Pringles. Has that been awesome for you guys, hundreds? Yeah, of course. Um, it's nice just the amount of support we've gotten um, just from the Apex community in general. Uh, it's weird because we didn't expect to be a crowd favorite, but somehow it's becoming that. And uh, there's a lot of pressure on us to, to put up the numbers and, and do better each week. <laughs> definitely, definitely feeling it. That's good. Has your streams been, you know, reciprocating all of the love? And has it been awesome for you guys to have something to look forward to to compete in every single time? Does your streams get hyped for that? Um, at least for me, I think, like I mentioned the last time in the interview that like the transition was all uh, was definitely a rough one. But I think now it's kind of gotten back into, OK, you know, maybe competitive is is fun to spectate. And uh, I, I think we're getting more people who maybe would have never looked at competitive. And now they're kind of interested. They've, I've been seeing them a lot in the we'll, we'll go back and watch the VODs. And uh, I see I see people in the chat of uh, esports arena Twitch, and it's it's exciting seeing that. It's seeing it's it's cool seeing people understanding what competitive is going to be like for for casual players even, right? So yeah, and you got the Pringles emote man coming in coming yeah, in yeah, already yeah. with the with the emojis <laughs> with the emojis you know, too. Also, also, I'm pretty sure if you have an iPhone, you can go and use your emojis when you're texting people too. I just learned that a couple months ago, so make sure oh, you guys wow. go and use that. Yeah, yep. yeah. So if you if you're watching right. and you didn't know that, you can go and take any email from whatever, anyone that you're subscribed to, I think, and go and text people that. So it's a lot of fun. Oh, that's cool. uh, all right. So who turned me on to the pizza flavor? Someone was saying that last time. That who was, was it? me. What are you? That was you. All mm -hmm. right. The pizza that's, flavor that's is pretty fire. Favorites. I'm coming. I'm coming in hot with the barbecue. Did you guys? You guys got the jerseys? Did you get the care package yet? We did. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, no. From Pringles and Bucks. No. Yeah, right, we haven't right. gotten it's a, coming. our care package yet. So. 
It's coming. Oh, it, it's coming. You guys are going to be flooded mm -hmm. with chips. I've already, I think I'm eating two, two things a day when I said I wouldn't eat two. I don't know. Yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> been adding Pringles to the diet lately. It, it really has become a part of my, my everyday diet. But uh, listen, the last two days, if you guys have been picking it up and, and doing really well, congratulations. I'd like to see you guys keep up that momentum and continue to match whatever composition you guys are going to play. And good luck in season seven. It's going to be fun watching you guys uh, you know, land, figure out where you guys are going to go and figure out what you guys are going to run composition wise. But I think that you're on to the right path with Pathfinder, with Gibby and with Wraith. I really don't think Watson's going to become much of the meta again like you said it depends on what your team style is and what your composition is and it seems to be working for you guys so congratulations and we'll see you next week at series e yeah Yo, thanks thank you thank you thank you what's going on guys this is hundreds i play for team pringles and this is the don't three stack the don't three stack consists of barbecue sour cream and onion and pizza. It's what happens when you three stack. <laughs>